afternoon. We have a quorum. It's four o'clock. We'll call the uh, DPW Building Committee meeting to order. And first up, is any minutes that are available for the 117 meeting? No, sir. Not ready. Okay. No key. Mm -hmm. um, next one, we will be reviewing the RFQs, RFPs, RFPs, whatever. That's what we're mostly after the OPM. And uh, I think everybody got their copies. Take a look at them. Um, there was an evaluation report that was with it. Did everybody complete those? I mean, no. I numbered them, Jim. I ranked them one through four. That's fine. Yeah. It's, uh, so we will need to do it consistently. So if we're going to choose numbers, um, I don't know who's done it ahead of time. So the, just right. I can help you with this part right here. What okay. we're going to do today is, if we can, uh, get everybody's ranking and total them. And obviously, the one that ranks the highest. Um, or you can we can keep the rankings. We're, we can do both. Get all the rankings and decide, do you want to interview three of them, all four of them, what you want to do. Okay. But we definitely want the rankings okay. as part of the process. So, But we just, if we're going to do numbers or we're going to do how you want to do it. We're gonna Even consistent. if we're going to do all four? That was, yes. That's why I didn't rank it because yeah. I was going to recommend. I, I, I feel we should, we should do all four. four. It's only four. I mean, it seemed kind of... That's fine, but we still should go through I, I, this. Okay. Yeah, we still should go through this okay. process. All right. You want to just start? Yeah. How, how, how we want to do and you just, and, um, So has has anybody not gone through them? I didn't really go through I've I've, I've looked at two. I was gone till late Monday, so... I didn't get a chance well, to just take the time then to go through each one. So okay. I've gone through them a little bit, but my assistant is very familiar with all this and he's actually working with one in the Deerfield Library right now. He's made 30 calls. I want to say he spent four hours on this and he went through with me and, you know, when I went, was going through it, kind of ranked them, but he agrees that with me that all four should be interviewed. But basically in this order is how we kind of ranked them. Yeah, and then we, we can decide how many you want to, hopefully okay. from those four, you can recommend ones for sure. Okay. Um, and do they bid on this also? <laughs> they don't bid on it. No, it's the no. percentage. You don't, do, no, it's do, not do, a percentage. Typically, it's this, for you that don't know, the way it works is we interview, <clears throat> we come up with a number one choice. We call it in for a second time, we sit down, and we ne negotiate a fee. <laughs> we come to an agreement or not. If not, then you go to number two and so on until you find okay. an agreement. Okay? Very. That's overly simplified, but that's basically the way it works. How do you start the, the negotiation process with a, a, a number for a fee, Jim? So we've allocated a certain amount um, for services. Um, and that was advertised in the RFP, so they know. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So. Okay. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Sam. All right. Well, I'll go first. Okay. Um, who can go first for you? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Who do you got first? I have CMS. <laughs> I ranked one through six. They're advantageous. For all of them, each of them, however you want to call it. It was. What do you mean one through six? You got one, two, three, three A, three B, three C, four A, four B, all the way to six A, B, C. To Every seven. I said, no, no, I said okay. six. The first six were advantageous for all of them. I see what you're saying. The last seven, not a, not applicable because they're not using consultants. Thanks, Jim. You want me to go through all of mine first, or do you want to go or go around the table? Okay. No, it might help everybody else as they go through them if they haven't had a chance to go through them, hearing your guys' explanations. Okay. 
Um, then P3. So, Jimmy, let me ask you a question. Yes. I get your part about the consultants, but I kind of uh, check it off as the people that they're assigned to the jobs as their in-house consultants. So wouldn't we not? Well, it doesn't matter either way to me, just as long as we're all on the same page. And well, I mean, good question. I, because I, certain ones said that they don't use consultants. Right. And because they said they don't use consultants, if they were in-house, they're just part of the employee group. That's the way I looked at it. And so it's, that doesn't, it doesn't work right. No and void. That's right. I not agree with that. Right. That makes sense. They don't get a negative for it. They're just not out. There was right. only one. <clears throat> Actually, they all basically come, come to that point. None of them were used. None of them used consultants for this part of the process. So I put NA for every one of them because they specifically said that they don't use consultants. Well, there was one, and I don't remember which one said that they, they could bring people in. I think it was P3. Yeah, yeah P3. So. P3, P3, P3. That's right. I'm sorry. P3, I didn't rank because they said that they, they don't, they didn't list anybody that they use. So how do you, how do you rank somebody right. if you don't know what they're using? Yeah, but, but again, Nobody brings them in, but they left it open that they would. They could. Yeah, you know. But anyways, I, I think we can get close enough without getting... Yeah, I, I, and I'm not sure how much the consultants are going to really matter for something like what we're doing, but we'll come, that'll come out. Yeah, that's right. I left seven blank because it didn't say who they used. So for me. Yeah, I think they for P3 says they use consultants, they bring them in if they need them, something to that effect. Well, if you don't tell us who you're using, how can I rank them? Yeah. Identify the qualifications of consultants. There were no details given. So are we disregarding seven then across the board? No, 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 no. Everybody can use seven as they as they as they see fit. But two of the groups, Collier's doesn't use consultants, and CMS says that they use in house. And I believe City Point and C three might have because I I left City Point blank. I think I'll have City Point blank because they didn't mention consultants in their uh, booklet. So, without knowing who they're using, how can how could you rate them? There's no information given. Can I ask for those of you who were able to get through all of them? I'm trying to see if we can get through some easy ones first and then we can do one by one for the minimum qualifications. 
Did anyone have anything who was able to read them that had anything different than highly advantageous? I rank nobody highly advantageous. For the minimum qualifications. I rank nobody highly advantageous. Okay. Only because it, it's a relative thing. Mm -hmm. If I give this one highly advantageous, it's like that's the time, that's the best they can do. How do I rank everybody else? If I find mm -hmm. somebody else a little bit better, so I just rank everybody advantageous because I saw no everybody met the qualifications. So it's, right. So here under page five of the request for proposal, the minimum minimum qualifications is we want to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, some of these are fairly easy to see. It's it's attached to the, their proposal, um, their DSB application. Um, if it's a partnership, they've identified it's a partnership who the general partners are. If it's a corporation, uh, it, if a project director or project man manager was identified. So that's why I'm wondering if we can just go through the minimum qualification because if they, they've included them, they may be a highly, they, they've met all the requirements. Okay. The other ones where we get into detail on their history and all of that is a little bit more, you got to do some more digging. Um, and so we don't have to feel like we have to finish this all, but I think if we can get to a point for, um, to get uh, as far along in this process as possible, I think it is important that all of you get to take a look at them at each section and discuss it. Um, and I recognize you didn't have a whole lot of time to read it. But. Okay. So, what are you suggesting we do with it, Jake? So, let's look at page five of the. You have your R, the RFP. We're working on CMS. Let's just go through. Was there a DSB application? Do we have our research? CMS, you yes. want to go oh, first? Sorry. Right. Okay. Where should DSB? I think they all had it. I think they did. Yeah. So the answer is yes, they have it. Okay. So I am going to propose something else also. Two is, does require a little bit more digging, a little bit more research and reading the, the proposal in, in depth a little bit. It's asking for the proposed approach, approach that will minimize project management costs while assuring high quality standards of performance. Um, Say that again, what do you? Number two, mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry. Um, I just jumped. My apologies. Um, go back to the minimum qualifications. Responses shall be signed as follows. If the respondent is an individual, um, by her or him personally. If the respondent is a partnership, is there a signature of each general partner? And if the respondent is a corporation by the authorized officer, whose signature must be attested to by the clerk secretary of the corporation of corporate sale fix? It's typically in the back. We believe that is a yes for them. Yeah. Yeah. We know that clerk. Yes. Certain corporation, corporation certificate. Yeah. So that's a yes. Okay. Who is the project director and project manager? And I know I looked at two of these and they both did that. So and CMS was one of them. So that's a yes. Okay. Well, it's got the project team in there. It's pitch there. And does the project director or project manager um, is an architect or professional engineer with that at least eight years of experience in construction? Mm -hmm. Neil Joyce is a project director for CMS. And um, yeah. Sure, I'm super. Yeah, it's for Paramount. Doesn't say if he's 
and engineering. Well, and his education is or ten similar years to experience. Engineering. Yeah, and he's got ten years experience. Okay, so yeah, so it's a yes. In that a thorough knowledge of the Massachusetts State Building Code, Stretch Code, the regulations of the Massachusetts Architectural Access Board, and the American Disabilities Act. Um, I wish they numbered their pages. So I do, we do, it does go into detail under the management, um, project management approach. Page number for you, but it's in the beginning. It does, it's yeah, uh, based on what, what they are telling us, they do. Yes. It's got knowledge of state building code, construction and procurement laws, and monitoring services, senior personnel maintained for an MCCPO certification as procurement. Um, yes. So they, they do have the public bid laws, which yeah. is number six. No. They had prior experience acting as owner's project manager. Yes. Similar mm -hmm. size and scope. Do, do they have DPW facilities? They yeah. do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Financial and operation ability to perform project management services on the project within established budget limits and time schedule. They say yes. They say yes. Familiarity and or experience relating to green construction, energy efficiency, and generation and grant sources for saying. They say they do. They have that LEED, some kind of a certification, one of has it. Okay, and they've included the documentation. Into the bonding facility that we toured. Do we even already start? Yeah, thanks. It's okay. Yeah, very stressed. Yes. Where are we? Where, where are we? Where are we studying right now? I'm looking at number two because we all agree that the uh, they complied with the minimum qualifications. Okay. So number two is proposed approach. So I'm looking at their management approach, which is again a few pages in. Mm -hmm. And again, they've said that they will comply with that or you know, work with us in that mm -hmm. regard. Would wouldn't you after reading all of these, which I, I did, um, it all seemed they all had kind of the same an approach that's going to work mm -hmm. but you know it, it's like yeah, it's hard it, it's very difficult to say yours is better than that one you know right. i did pick out a couple of companies that i thought were better than the other two mm -hmm. but management approach is like everybody has a different approach yeah. to management so yeah, I think you said the important thing, like some better than the others. Some of it's just the explanation's better. It's better written. So I think in those cases, you would put you, that's where you would put the difference between highly advantageous, advantageous. This is all stuff that they're writing. I mean, we could do a check with somebody and say, those guys are lying. You know, that's what references are right. all about. That's what you're saying. Yeah, references. Yeah. I think the four right. of them all feel they they meet our qualifications and mm -hmm. expectations. It's you yeah. know, we could, we could pick out a great company but get a bad project manager, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. And and what we're doing, we just have to base it on the bullets that we were given. We right. can't go beyond that right. For right now. That's where the interviews will have another. It it could be very similar to this when we do the interviews, but we'll have the same questions that we'll be asking. Yeah, and I guess if we're going to interview all four, you know, I I did check off things, but I also rated them. And, you know, I, I've got my favorite, and that's probably because I've worked with them before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how much time do we want to spend now going through? I think they all meet. Since we're all, so since you, you agree, this group agrees that you want to interview all four of them. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I think sense. they've all, okay. yeah, it sounds like they've all obviously I think the filled thing out there. today was these minimum qualifications because that wipes you out. I, I don't think anybody yeah. didn't meet minimum qualifications. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody's capable of it. Yeah, they, they, yes. they, they've got, they're giving us what appears to be good people to do the job. And they, you know, some have given a more detailed timeline than others, but they're all saying, they all say, this, they all say the same thing a little bit differently, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's, they had a decent time to put a report together. And that's what they do. Mm -hmm. And it's when you talk to them, right. And, and ask references. Yeah. Questions right. and check references. You know, everybody can they can blow their horn to the, to the sky on yeah. paper. Yeah. Right. Check some check references and find out. You know, and I don't mean talk to the town administrator. I mean talk to the people that they worked with. Right. Yeah. Because those the are the ones committees. that count. It's the building committees you want the, to talk to. The building change. committee. The building committee. And and and, and if you would if they built a DPW facility, the, I want to talk to the guy. Yeah. I want to talk to Scott's equal at that facility. Yeah. I want to talk to Gary's equal. Yeah. I want to talk to people down in the There's trenches. There's no equal to Gary. There is Scott. I want to. I want to. I mean, no, no, but I want to say the people in the trenches that work with these people, and after the facility was built. How was it the facility? Right? How was it two which, years after? Yeah. Yeah. Which we did talk to a lot of the guys. Because the built. The, yeah. Yeah, they, they may be buddy buddies with the higher ups. Well, that's that's fine and dandy. Are you buddy buddies with the down with the people that are in the trenches? Yeah, that's going to tell you. Because the those are the ones that count. Right. Yeah, they're the ones that are going to tell you the truth. Yes. You so know. here's two things I think the charge of the committee is. I think from here, we need to develop some questions so that yes. we're prepared. Yep. And then we can set some interview dates. I think, and um, I think when you, one of the things you want to look at too, though, um, were there any who haven't done a DPW building? They all built. They all built. They all built DPW. Well, 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 yeah, some more than others. Yeah, some more than others. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, these are <laughs> the guys <laughs> built. These are the guys that watched the. They're, they're, they're supervisors, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, and these, are the super, have, these are the supervisors of the building. The reason I'm asking that is you don't want to be the first town that a firm uses to have an OPM for a DPW building. It is not a senior center. It's not a library. It's not a store. Right. Right. So I, would, I was just going to throw that out. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I, Everybody built, built at least one. And like Randy says, some more than some way more than others. Three, um, three P only listed um, a DPW in New Hampshire. And I don't know what that would matter to, as far as the rules in the state. Um, so that that was the only company that. Which one was that? Three P. Oh, P. Yeah, they only listed Meredith, New Hampshire. Um, when was that, David? When did they actually do it? I'm putting my notes. Um, it opened in uh, 2022. Recent. Well, that one's well, that's pretty recent. That's recent. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's recent. But again, it's not in the state, and I think the question was in Massachusetts. Um, well, I mean, these guys are, like you said, they're watching the town's money and the plans and kind of coordinating. It's not like I would I hire a, the contractor that built the one in New Hampshire. Maybe he's not that familiar with the with mass, code, mass code, yeah. codes that we yeah. have. So yeah. I wouldn't do that. But they're just overseeing. Yeah. Right. These guys are your checks and balances between your contractor and the town. Yeah. The, uh, you know, I looked at them also. I mean, it's something for everybody to look at it as well. There's the size of the company. Is a bigger company, bigger co a large company has advantages. A small company has advantages. Mm -hmm. You know, some companies are, you know, they have a mix of people. Some is, uh, I'll be honest, all white males. And, you know, does that matter? 
is there does is, does you know I, I'm I'm just mentioning that I'm not saying I'm not trying to suggest to anybody anything. Um, but you know, I think I think sometimes with a larger company, I look at what the overhead, extra overhead might be. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe yeah. That, yeah. You know, a lot of people nationwide, and I I, I tend to think that the, I've dealt with. Large contractors, I've dealt with small contractors. I'll just use the elementary school. Pesio and Associates, they were, they were, of course, that, that, back then we just had a clerk of the work. We didn't have this whole OPM stuff. But as far as like, the, the architect went, Tessio is a small company. They only have about, maybe they had a dozen employees, maybe not even that many. And because of that, they were very... Well, of course, maybe most companies are. They're easy to deal with. When you talk to the owner, I mean, you got to know the owner personally and, and the, so on and so forth. There wasn't a, a, a hierarchy, if you would. Um, there's good advantages and disadvantages in both cases. The larger the company, you know, you got a lot more options with who's going to be working. Stuff. If you have a problem come up, they can help you with different things as opposed to, well, we got to check this out with a consultant or something. Or we got a guy on vacation and we'll have to wait. Or yeah. yeah. So yeah. there's, 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 like I said, plus and minuses to both. Um, and that'll hopefully a lot of that can come out. And when we interview them and we take a look at different things, because to say one way or the other right now, you know, maybe you have a prejudice that you like large or small and that's okay. Um, just as long as when the ultimate decision comes, Whatever decision we make makes sense, whether it's big or small or medium. Okay, I've got a question. Should we should we do reference checks before we write up questions? Because something might come up that oh, that's a good thing to ask, or do interviews and then do. Typically, references are done after you. Pick one. After you've narrowed it down, yes. Okay. And before we make a final decision. So right. But I'm just saying, if you, you pick the best one, you do the reference checks, and they're all lousy. Now you're going to... Right. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't... I'm just thinking of the questions. Like, in, you know, if somebody said, bring up a question when your references are... Yeah. You want to ask everybody. Well, is there anything that came up on the matures that you thought... So didn't want to ask anybody. Let's see, this, the tours were like the way we were looking at what the building was. Now we're looking at how they're going to represent us for some of the architects there. for us. Yeah. Match the numbers and crunch the numbers. Everywhere we went, though, nobody ever said that they had trouble building. Or, you know what I'm saying? With the OPM? Or just in general. No yeah. one ever said that they had, you know, don't use this architect because we had trouble or etc. Yeah. Nobody yeah. really had anything bad to say about right. yeah. anything. So yeah, well, in fact a lot of made, made mention right. that the archi the uh, architect of the contractors that the construction contractors they were using were really, you know, they were very cooperative and helpful and so on and so forth. Yeah. I mean and so you know the, the architect is they're drawing up plans based on what we want. Not right. you know we're not gonna come in and throw something and, out. Then, and then we did get a lot of I wouldn't. I would recommend yeah. not doing this. Yeah, right. We don't messed up. This. We should have done this. Yeah, yeah. you know, or, or don't do this, or this was not that great, or whatever. Right. We had. Or, it or I wish we had done right. this. Also. We had it to do over again. Yeah. We would have done that. Yeah. The, uh, I still like that guy. Was it from Hudson, or the one where they cut off all the ducks and um, they yeah. were using? That was Hudson. What? Yeah. what? I think it was Hudson. That was where they were five, using five thousand. They, 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 they were using about back. three thousand. <laughs> Gallons of net of propane a month to heat their facility in the cold weather. Holy smokes! <laughs> <laughs> they have they have five they one thousand. They have they have five, the five one thousand gallon tanks outside. Five one thousand pro five one thousand yeah. gallon propane tanks, and they were filling those up during the winter. As they say, once a month. Yeah. Wow. Um, and we were like, argue with radiant heat. He said we used 600 gallons of oil all winter. Yeah, uh, and, and the, the, we we saw. I mean, we'll get into that when we start get into into the design. But like he said, yeah, in floor in floor heating, and, and Walt can Walt can tell you this. 
yeah, it's a bit pricey when you install it. But instead of heating from there down 25 or 30 feet, you're heating from here up five feet. Yeah. It's the only way to go. Yeah. The future. future. Yeah. 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 But anyways, okay. Um, questions. We want to start putting some questions together that we'd like to ask. I think if you guys could come up with four or five questions, and I can certainly um, get additional questions that we can put together, I can send out to the, all of you okay. and say if you like them or you don't, or you want to add something, and then get a final document to you guys to say, let's use this. I got about seven questions here. Why did you typically ask in an interview? It's, it can vary. Yeah, I would say no more. Well, depend. Depend. I mean, each interview probably lasts, what, maybe half an hour to an hour. Yeah. So you don't want to bury him with a bunch of stuff. Now, a little bit about me. I've done a lot of interviewing in my time for engineers. And some of these questions are questions I've been asked, I've seen asked, I kind of a, a modified them for the contractor. So maybe they make sense, maybe they don't make sense. So if you think it's a stupid question or a bad question, don't hesitate to knock it off. So I'll just give you some of the questions that I put together. Um, first one, give us an example. You made on a, a, a oh, give us an example. Give us an example where you learned, where you made a mess, um, a mistake on a project and what you learned from it. This is more of a personal thing that you do with people. Like maybe this one might be appropriate. Tell us about yourself. I'm not sure that's going to be inappropriate for what we're looking for with an OPM. How do you deal with a difficult contractor or subcontractor? That's a good one. That's one of the best. Yep. What was your best project you ever worked on and why? What was your worst project you ever worked on and why? Oh, that hmm? That's a good one. <laughs> how do you how have you dealt with difficult building committee members. Have you ever dealt with a building committee member who knows new little or nothing about building, but do not know or does not, cannot admit it? In other words, you don't know what you don't know, but you think you know a lot. I think we've all met those kind of people. You know, how does this person interact with people and contractors? And that's all I have. Well, I would add one on that same yeah. line. I would reiterate that instead of a building committee member, I would also yeah. present it as with a contract. Yeah, that's a good one. How do yeah. you deal with a contractor that thinks they they know it, they know everything? Oh yeah. Because are are they really going to be dealing with us individually, or they they're going to be dealing with us as a group? So I guess one of us could be a pain they, during the meeting. Yeah. Well, they're basically they're basically for the from what Mike, and you correct me if I'm wrong, for the most part, they're going to be dealing with the representative of this committee because you're not going to have a meeting all the time. So it's going to be a designated member of this committee, typically as the chairman or somebody else, that's going to interact with this person. And I'm not saying I'm a difficult person, I can be a pain in the butt, but I'm not going to be that kind of a problem. <laughs> um, so you so, say. But, you know, when it comes to the committee, what if they got a difficult committee member that is always, you know, I mean, that's, I'm not, I don't, not so concerned about that. It's more or less what I'm looking at is how do you deal with people? Right. There's yeah, nobody on this well, committee yeah. Yeah. that doesn't know what they don't know from what I've seen. Right. So I'm not worried about that aspect. I'm more like, how do you deal with people? Is the question yeah. that you're really, what you're getting yeah. down. I would do it for the same thing for a contract. Right. Because that's where they can really get into head. Yeah. So I would I would recommend usually what you typically find is what you're saying, Jim, is that the, the committee agree on one person to be the contact person. And typically an OPM will ask that of the committee because they're not going to know who they're answering to. Yeah. So I would say to designate it as one one person. Um, I think we've learned from other projects in town. It's also very important to have Tommy involved in the building maintenance. That, that's, that, that, that's a gift. Yeah, I mean, so I he's think involved that, whether we want him or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, as, as, as a building inspector, he has to be there. Yeah, you know. not just to inspect. Yeah. Um, 
And typically the OPM, remember the OPM is working with the architect and the contractor. That's his job. Right, exactly. So we want to ask questions. You know, yeah. what if what if you disagree with something that the architect yeah, that's 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 I also think we want Tom to represent the no. building committee with this person no. because no, that, could, that no. could be a that could no. be a conflict. Right. Yes. Well one other consideration of course is if there'll be kind of the clerk of the works and watching to make sure that we're on time and on budget. That uh, you know that we focus in a little bit on that as well. How uh, can you give examples of when you've had cost overruns? So, you know, how do how you, you, yeah. you deal yeah. with yeah. those things or, yeah. or supply issues yeah. or yeah. or subcontractor yeah. issues. I mean you know. and some of them are like this building you know was inflicted by us, you know, the town itself, you know, oh we're gonna do this. No, we're gonna change this. Oh we're gonna go back to you know, and there's a lot of delays and stuff. Well, so you there's just add change orders yeah. to it. So you've got right. change orders, you've got subcontractors that may or may not cause a entire project to slow down. You've got supply chain issues, you've got cost overruns. I mean, to me, these are a lot of things that I'd like to focus to have the OPM talk about. Um, you know, because these are yeah. real life yeah. things that can have big impacts on this market. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. And I, I'm sure they've all told us in these Books they provide us that they're going to do it on everything's going to come in on time and under budget. Yeah. So, well, you never put a bad reference down. Right? Right. Uh, I know. No, I've yeah. had some. You call him up and the guy doesn't work there anymore, and then yeah. all of a sudden you find his replacement. <laughs> We'd never hire that guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, what kind of relationship do you have with the guy who wrote his name down and you should have erased it? Yeah, yes. found out yeah. he was working there anymore yeah. before you worked. So, I mean, it, it's not only you know, yeah. how have you dealt with it? Really, is what. Just right. trying to explore yeah, right. yeah, there. Those are all, that's a good process. question, but it should be asked about the the you know the committee, mm -hmm. the architect and the yeah. contractor. Yeah. Because they all it takes one to start kicking back and then the whole thing slows down. There, or you have arguments between, you know, the architects arguing with the builder. Well then and, and, and have, you, you know, said change orders. You know, that I mean that's a that's kind of the hopefully up to us and the towns to to minimize that to do you know do yeah, you know, we'll stay we'll stay task to the first focus. thing you are you get it right try to get it as close as you can with the architect and then the contractor yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah there was do the contract more higher contractors a general contractor are we going to put in something um like penalty clauses if whoever they hired for plumbing i'll give you a quick explanation of a penalty clause this is upheld by all kinds of courts if you off if you offer a penalty clause for not being done on time, let's say the job is to be done June thirtieth, and for every week you're delayed beyond June thirtieth, there's a penalty. You need by law to offer the exact same clause if it's done ahead of time. So if they get so it's a say it's a thousand dollars a week, this is a number. So if it's done. Four weeks ahead of time, they got a four thousand dollar bonus. Okay, well, all right, so that that's good to know. But I guess um, when I was on the project at the dining commons at UMass, um, Shawnee Corporation was running the whole thing, and they never had an issue of the project shutting down because a sub wouldn't show up on time. So somehow they were able to always have their sub lined up, and it was. No, it was never a shutdown on that job, and that ran for a couple of years. You know? So, I guess how do we bring that up? Oh, so, of course, they're a big company, and they work with the same people all the time. Good subs. Yeah. So we'll we'll get a, a standard contract from our legal counsel because um, you can put some things in place to to yeah. help motivate them to to uh. Yeah. You know, there'll also be language on, on how they can address it, like our proposal. If we don't award the bid in 90 days, we on both sides, we can agree to add 45. So there, there'll be language like in that. I don't know about the reverse. What well, some of, the, some of the bids, like, they have to be done, like, pre-filed sub-bids. Oh, yeah. You'll yeah. Have so, yeah, so they, you know, oh, yeah. And then they can yeah. hire somebody else, but it's they have to do it for yeah. the same mm -hmm. amount of money. Yeah. And, and what I just what I spoke about about the bonus versus the penalty. I have actual experience with that where when I was working for Monsanto, they used to put that standard language in. For every week you're delayed, there's a penalty. Well, they had one project where the penalty, where they were literally months late. They went to court. They lost. Monsanto did because they says, 
There's no bonus offered. And that was the reason. If you if you offer, offer a penalty, you must offer off, also offer a bonus. They built a steam gener uh, what they call a cogeneration facility on Monsanto property. And they learned a lesson. So they offered the contractor so much penalty, so much bonus. Kind of a funny story here, in that the contractor was going crazy at the beginning of the project, working overtime to get to, to uh, get the bonus. Well, somewhere along the line, they fell down miserably to the point that they walked off of the job. Says, Monsanto, you got it. Sue us. We don't care. We don't want anything more to do with this project. They were some company out of the Midwest. I don't remember all the details, but they were just horrible. And all of their extra work that they had done in the project was like three quarters done. And they just walked away. And Monsanto. And they didn't get paid for it, Jim? They, they, there was all kinds of litigation and suing. I don't know what all the details were, but they finished, they didn't finish the project. Monsanto had to hire somebody else to finish the project. Um, and that contract ended up going bankrupt the following year. I would say it's a good goal for us not to have a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there, there was, there, it was, like I said, it was, it was way more involved in all this that I'm talking about. I know that, for, but they, they truly tried to get the bonus, but for somewhere along the line, they just fell apart. Irrespective, they had the bonus had nothing to do with it. It was other issues, but. Um, so, so we want to set a goal of, of a certain amount of questions. I mean, because you, you're going to want to drill down on a few of them for sure. And yeah, answer, you'll have to do follow up questions as well. But I think, do you want to start with 10? That sounds like a reasonable number. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow, de depending how they're going, you can, I'm, I'm sure we can really drill into them further. Like, you know, can you explain something? Like, oh, what about this and stuff like that? And Carolyn, you're writing that stuff down and you're going to add that to whatever other questions together. you've got. So I added to it. Let's serve out to my other okay. Okay. administrators and go with these. So, do we expect the OPM to meet with this committee as a group or not? Yes. They always send a representative for a project manager. Yeah. And sit yeah. with us during our meetings. Yes, you know, the project manager typically will meet with the select board. We'll meet with this group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They'll be very visible. They'll be kind of our voice. Yeah. They're they're basically our advocate. Yeah, that's so um, one company talked about weekly construction meetings or biweekly. The others didn't really specify that. Meetings as needed. I would hope they'd be at weekly construction meetings because that's when the architect and the contractor yeah, and somebody from the town meets. That, that should be a question. Huge. Yep. Um, yeah, for these, for the two buildings that we, we did, they were weekly. I mean, obviously, if there was a time where you, nothing much was going on, you'd push it back. Yeah, two, did you meet, did meet with the whole committee or just one person? Do you remember? In the beginning, you would meet with. The it would meet with the whole committee at the beginning, and then towards the end, it was you know it would be like uh, like up north. It was Mike, you know, me, Tommy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if your committee member was up. Huh? I don't even know if there was a committee member at towards the end because that's when I came halfway, right? Yeah. No, there wasn't. There wasn't. Right. Yeah. And you guys played a different role, being part of Bradley, right. and also right. you know, depending on what it's for, you know, Mike was there as. Mike and I were Mike and I were well Mike was yeah. on the committee. Yeah. So, oh, there you yeah. Go. So we were both yeah. there. Yeah. There was always yeah. and you know, and the contractor was there. And yeah. usually there was a representative from the architect there too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we'd meet on site at the job trailer. Yeah. Interview dates and times. What's good? What do we want to try for? Everybody's from the Boston area, right? So pick your quick right to get out. Um, yeah. I think Marley's in the past. Oh, you can pick him up in the phone case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, that's hilarious. I don't know if it's a back to back, you know, a Wednesday yeah, Thursday. Kind of. That's the closest thing, believe yeah, Do two. I two, think one you can do them all one day. day. Oh, you definitely can do them yeah. all day. Yeah. yeah. You'd want to. You want that. to have it fresh in your mind. Well, yeah. Right. Yeah, I want to drag it out. You want to get it done too. Oh, they got to be in person. Yeah. Yeah. How long is it going to take you? To get all these questions together for us, get them back to us, then we need to look at them and decide what we're going to ask. So 
we're going to factor that into this date decision, Jimmy. I mean, I some of the only questions that are going to take time is the ones I send out, but mm -hmm. I can date, definitely get. I think we've got close to 10 questions, just what we've been throwing out here. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything. Because I, I do think we want to see how they uh, relate to the architect as well. Okay. All right. So I don't know how soon you want to do this, but I'm gone August, yeah, August, April 17th through the end of the month. And if it's if, if it suits everybody else to do it, then that's fine. It's not going to be in the world of To get town meeting? Um, first two weeks are so crazy. But, no. um, I, I was going to say you're going to be hard pressed to do. Yes, yeah, so we've got 90 days from the 27th, which is you know, so, pretty much, right? Yeah, <laughs> so we got we got plenty of time. So yeah, after okay. you know, mid to late May, yeah, to before yeah. early June, you want to get it before summer really gets rolling because right. then right. you know contractors are busy. So then uh, so how about if we is. Are everybody available Wednesday? On a, like a Wednesday seems to be a good day for us on a Wednesday afternoon. Should be that yeah. far out. Planning season coming up. Yeah, I don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. you're, you're, you're right. planning. Exactly. Because, uh, farming is going to come first, and if you're going to do your property, yeah, you're going to exactly. do your farming. Yeah, that's understood. So the third Wednesday of May is the fifteenth. Can I ask a favor? Sure. Can you try to do it on an off select board meeting because. That's this gonna, this is going to take probably two hours. Yeah. Oh, at least. Yeah. It's going to probably take and four that, hours. I get into so not a, not a third Wednesday. Okay. And about, about a Tuesday. How about the 14th? Tuesdays would be better. Then it's planning board meeting. Planning board meeting. Planning board meeting. Well, it, it, it's, it's not so much a planning board meeting. Well, well if we, we can, I'm assuming we're going to end up doing this in the afternoon probably as opposed to in the evenings. Right. Well, yeah. Probably yeah. at 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Sorry, right? Like, we, we well, mean we, early. We've done them early. We've done them at like noon time. I'm going to say probably probably, probably want to start yeah. maybe like at one o'clock. On call consultant. Well, yeah. they, um, we the yeah. 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 They, yeah, either one. Project best yeah. size. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Trust me, they'll call whenever you want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't need to. We don't need you, to. You make it convenient for you guys. Their truck back. No, yeah. you know, yeah. they'll drive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just Boston's not like it's a day's drive. It's an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, for me, it's, I'm, this is about as early as I can get. Is the 8th too early? When is he? 8 in the morning? No, the 8th, May 8th. May 8th, that's, 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 no, that's, 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 that's the second one. Is that the town meeting and that's not a selectman's meeting date? Correct. Uh, nope. Yep. Right. Yeah, right. So, okay. Five eight, yeah, there's the second Wednesday. Second Wednesday. Should be fine with me. Okay. How soon do we want to start them? Doesn't matter to me. Oh, we Andy says four. Andy seems to be the one that's got four. And Gary. No, right I'm now. I'm assuming we, we we want to allow an hour for each one of these guys. Is that enough? Oh, it's plenty of time. Yeah. An hour is plenty. I, I doubt you'll go a full hour with okay. each one of them. Yeah, but I'm afraid if we just get them too close together, we're going to be running it. We're going to be trying to cut it too short. So I'm just thinking, so you got four, five, six, seven, so you got from four to eight. We'll be here for till late in the evening. Okay with everybody? <laughs> it really affects me. Sure. It is now, right. Carolyn. Well, 45 minutes each. So you can, you can, you know, even if schedule 45 minutes each, you're going to still schedule once every hour because you're going to you right. give yourself yeah. two so minutes to walk around. So, that, so you see, so you say 45 minute interview and then they leave. You want now to you want to do a quick talk, 15 yeah. minute huddle up. What do you think? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, exactly. You know, yeah. It, it goes a, boat, a little bit longer. And it's what it is. So if we start at four, we should be done by eight. Yeah. 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 Or five, six, eight. Yeah. 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 Okay. 4 p.m. first. I don't know Scott's Scott may have a conflict, but yeah. we'll find out. Just be there. You have, a, you have a conflict with I, I, I think so, but I just. Well, we're not, well, not it, it, you, yeah. I'm just going to go on this, and some people know my situation in the room. 
I just please don't schedule around me because I got a lot of things happening outside of work that, you know, I need to address and just timing just sucks for me. And so just if I'm here, great. If not, please I'll fill don't fill me. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> or you can watch the tape. Yeah. Yeah. Just like I said, just it's hard for me to commit to anything. Okay. So. I'll print the recording. How's that? Yeah, it's not a good thing. It's in the cloud. Okay, you can watch the cloud. Okay, so I will contact the four of them and schedule them beginning at 4 p.m. on 5, 8, 1 every hour. So 4, 5, 6, and 7. Sounds good. Yes. And I'll let everybody know as soon as I get their, that schedule, who's going to be when. And we'll be in this room? Yep, I'll talk to you again. Okay. Do we need another table? We can, okay. we can find the patient thing. Yeah, we probably have yeah, there. Yeah, I've got one missing from here already. Yeah. Yeah. Now, will these things be, will the interviews <laughs> be taped? Mm -hmm. They will. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so good. I'm going to use them. You know I should have just pencil. Ah! Never I got reservations. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be on vacation that day. <laughs> I'm on vacation today, Jim. Well, I'll, I'm, I'm going to be away on vacation. Okay, next. <laughs> All right. About that, are you going for a week, a day, a month? I we're I'm going Friday, Saturday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, be back Saturday, four days. So you want to do it Tuesday, fourteenth or seventh? This whatever six four. Well, well, the, 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 uh, the seventh is the first Tuesday of the month, so we can't That's do planning. that planning board. Fourteen, 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 fourteen. Yeah, the fourteenth. All right. Anybody else? Anybody not available that day that you know of? That's Tuesday, May fourteenth. You're saying? Yes. Yep. For right now, he's <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Until he gets that far on his calendar, calendar. Until he can figure out how to look at the Until next week's calendar. Yep. Yep. Okay. So to repeat myself now, I will schedule meetings on five fourteen for the four. Companies beginning at four in the afternoon will do schedule one per hour for the first from four to seven. Sounds good. Do we need to post that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So, do we meet before that to go over who's asking what questions or and what questions we're going to yeah. ask? Can we do that? Um, to go over who's <clears throat> so our three sir, I, you know, meet on the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth is it? Oh, yeah. oh. Do you want a whole meeting wants... for that, or just like fifteen minutes to well, say whatever? Yeah. You can almost achieve that. Up. Email, email, right? Kind of, or email, yeah. Maybe just email. yeah. We can. Here's I guess we can. Know, yeah, we can. We agree on a question. Email, right? As long as we don't discuss one, anything. Yeah, yeah as, long, as long you send out the question, everybody just looks at it. I'll I'll post a meeting to begin at three o'clock. And whoever can make it for three o'clock, we can quickly go over how to, what we're going to do. And if you if you're not here, you can't make three o'clock. Yeah, not I a big mean, deal. Um, yeah, we'll give Andy. The yeah, I, I thought it was good. Yeah. 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 Andy will ask eight questions and figure out what's going to. So just so you know, we have to open the meeting at three. So if nobody's here, yeah, you can't. We don't have a quorum. So I wouldn't start the meeting because then you can't okay. you can't just wait for a quorum to appear. Okay. To start it. Okay. So I think you work. can do. I think you can handle this all through email. Okay. Just, Actually, as long as nobody comments on the email to anybody, but oh no, don't no, no, reply no, at all. No, 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 don't reply at all. You need to be to Carol and myself. <laughs> if you're going to send it out. Reply back to you. Yeah. If you have questions or comments, and then I'll the you'll follow I'll question question the final call. one. Jim, yeah. you should just assign the questions to everybody. Okay. 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 Oh, boy. That, that, I think you're going to get a raise now, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See the power go to his head? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> He's a chair. Okay. Well, it sounds like a plan. Can we got my name on the email now? I did. Okay, so Carolyn will assemble the questions. Put them, give them, give them out. I'll give. I'll assign the question. Who do you think might be able to get the questions put together by? I can try to do it by Friday. Oh, you will. Yeah. Okay. Can you send me your questions or just? Yes, I'll go through, put it yeah. together. And Caroline, if there's new questions that come up, you want us to reply back to you? Mm -hmm. with them? Yeah, and I'll add them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, research references, we'll worry about that once we do the uh, interviews and decide who our final candidate, one or two candidates might be. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think we need to meet on 417. Does anybody see a re reason for that? Okay. Nope. Okay. So, did the interview on 514? Would we need a meeting on 515 or, not? or that's too soon? So, we might be too busy with, with the select board? Well, I, I said you're going to do everything in an email. I, see, I think no, it's probably no, 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 after, after, after the interviews. After oh, the after, yeah. Should we yeah. leave it there and say 14? We could almost talk about it quickly. Yeah. No, we can't because we won't be posted. Well, so, or so I, 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 I could post 515, we could just cancel it. Right. Yeah, or I'm pretty confident you guys are going to know who you want to recommend to the select board. We can talk about night. it after the interviews yeah. are over. Just just yeah. Part of, part of that meeting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Scott won't be there that day. No, for no, sure no. now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sounds like a reasonable plan here. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask that question. Anything else? I don't know if it's a time and a place, but that property that abuts at the end of the street, is that I guess where do we stand with that? I don't know. Come to the select yeah. board meeting okay. tonight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know that'll change, you know, some yeah. dynamics here. So okay. That is that is that will be on the on warrant. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. How many can I watch it? You can watch it. Okay. It might save us a lot of money. Yeah. It definitely yeah. will. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. a, a yeah. very yeah. a good thing. So sorry. Um, yeah. I have nothing else. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.